We've seen plenty of good action anime, tournament arcs, life or death duels, and plenty of monster slayings. But what about widespread combat? Today we're going over the best war and military related anime of all time. Now without wasting any time let's get right into the list. My heart. Number 10 Alderman on the Sky The huge Kadvana Empire is at war with the neighboring Kyoka Republic. In a corner of the empire, a young man is about to be caught up in the flames of war. His name is Iwata Soroku. He's lazy, a philanderer, and he hates war. He's about as far from a soldier as you can get. On his way towards the next stage of officer's qualification exams, he and his childhood friend Yadarishino Igsum encounter the nurse trainee Haruma Beckel, Mashu Tetrachurch a member of the old military faction, and Torway Lemian. Number 9 Valkyria Chronicles the nation of Gallia has always remained neutral in conflicts and has only gone to war to defend itself. However, as war flares between the East European Imperial Alliance and the Atlantic Federation, Gallia is soon targeted for its abundance of Ragnite ore, a versatile and hugely valuable material. The civilian militia is soon called into action, and Welkin Gunther, son of a legendary war hero, is named leader of Squad 7. Under his command are the headstrong and practical Alicia Melchiot the sharp-tongued Bridget Stark, the grizzled veteran, Largo Potter, and Welkin's adopted sister Isara, whose darks and heritage means she faces prejudice, even from members of her own squad. With the rest of Squad 7 and the mighty tank Edelweiss, they must do their best to defend Gallia. Number 8 Record of Grand Crest War Atlatan, a land ruled by chaos. Fearing disaster brought about by chaos, the people lived protected by lords, those with the power of a crests, used to suppress the chaos. However, the lords decided to abandon the concept of protecting the people and turn against each other, stealing each other's crests to gain dominion over one another. Among these people are Saluka, a lone mage who despises the lords, and Theo, a vagrant knight training to someday liberate his homeland. Enticed by Theo's ideals, Saluka's coercive tactics have the two forming a contract and together, reform a war-torn land. Number 7 Seraph of the End After a catastrophic epidemic kills every adult on Earth, vampires arise from the shadows to enslave the remaining human population. Yuichiro and his friends are kept as vampire fodder in a creepy underground city. Yuichiro dreams of one day fighting back, and the first step is staging a daring escape from their vampire overlords. Number 6 The Pilot's Love Song To find the end of the sky and sea, we went on a journey aboard the flying island Isla. A boy who lost everything in the revolution. The lonely girl who calls the wind, who became the revolution's symbol. The young pilots set out aboard the flying island Isla to find the end of the sky. Friendship, love, adventure, and each of them have something they want to protect. An epic story of love and dogfights begins now. Number 5 Saga of Tanya the Evil It is June of the year CE 1923. A young girl with blonde hair and blue eyes, Tanya de Gierchak, has entered the final curriculum of the Imperial Military Academy, and is training at the 3rd Patrol Line in the Northern Military District, the Norden Theater, as part of her service to the force. Her training, the first step toward a brilliant career as an aviation mage, should have gone off without a hitch, but things took an unexpected turn. Number 4 Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood The foundation of alchemy is based on the law of equivalent exchange. You cannot produce something from nothing. As such, alchemy is bound by one taboo, human transmutation. For years ago two young brothers, Edward and Alphonse Elric, broke this taboo when they tried to resurrect their dead mother. During the process Al's body disintegrated and Ed lost his leg. In a desperate attempt to prevent his brother from disappearing completely, Ed sacrificed one of his arms so he could affix Al's soul to a suit of armor. When his missing limbs are replaced by auto male parts, Ed bears the name of the Full Metal Alchemist, the youngest ever state alchemist and dog of the military. Now, alongside his brother, Ed uses his status within the military to attempt to find any way that he can return their bodies back to their original state. Number 3 Code Geass, Lelich of the Rebellion 
In 2010, the Britannian Empire enslaved Japan using powerful mecha known as Nightmares. In the aftermath Japan was renamed Area 11, and its people began a hard and terrible existence. Lelich, a Britannian student living in Area 11, has grown up hating the empire and everything it stands for. One day, in the middle of a terrorist attack, Lelich meets a mysterious girl who grants him the ability to control minds. Can he use his new power to fight for freedom, or will his hatred twist his good intentions into mindless acts of vengeance? Number 2 Attack on Titan Over a century ago, mankind was devoured by giant beings of unknown intelligence and origin known as titans, creatures that eat humans alive indiscriminately and for no apparent reason. The remaining population has managed to survive the last hundred years only by building a multi-walled city, capable of keeping the titans at bay, training military recruits to patrol the perimeter and gather intelligence about their mysterious foe. Eren and Mikasa have lived a relatively peaceful life behind the city's walls, but when a massive titan appears, smashing the outer barrier and unleashing a wave of terror, their lives are brutally changed forever. Number 1 Vinland Saga It's the typical story of revenge, but it goes so much deeper than just that. Set during the Viking era, Vinland Saga showcases what it meant to be a warrior, a Viking, and how brutal wars were at the time. The characters are so well-grounded in my opinion, aside from the occasional superhuman strength and speed. Askeladd especially shines, as rarely do you see such an intricate character with believable strengths and weaknesses. Specifically where every decision seems outlandish, but it always makes sense for that character. He also just plays people like a fiddle. Well worth a watch and I think this will please a broad range of anime fans. Broken hearts and stubborn fights Turning truth to lies Gotta get up, stop wasting time Yeah, I wanna run off and fly